With the advent of industrialization and modernization has diabetes known as the silent killer has found its way in our society and has become one of the major causes of mortality in the 21st century according to WHO in 2019 diabetes was the ninth leading cause of global deaths with heart disease being the number 1 which in many cases can also be traced back to diabetes itself in this video we will talk about india the diabetes capital of the world and why diabetes loves indians according to a 2019 estimate in india 77 million individuals had diabetes which is expected to rise over 134 million by the year 2045 majority of these cases consist of type 2 diabetes which leads to consequences like coronary artery disease kidney dysfunction blindness and amputations to name a few But what actually is type 2 diabetes? It is characterized by chronically elevated blood sugar levels called hyperglycemia, which is often a result of insufficient production of insulin or insulin resistance, in which the tissues do not respond to the effect of insulin. As per International Diabetes Federation, the prevalence of diabetes in India has been increasing steadily from 7.1% in 2009 to 8.9% in 2019 this percentage increase might not sound a lot but considering a population of more than 1 billion it does amount to a lot of sick people as per the data an estimated 25.2 million adults in india have impaired glucose tolerance which simply means their blood glucose levels are higher than normal range this estimate is supposed to increase to 40.7 million by 2045 out of the 77 million diabetics in 2019 12.1 million are aged above 65 and by year 2045 this number is estimated to rise to 27.5 million surprisingly In India nearly 57% of these adults with diabetes are undiagnosed 57% which amounts to 43.9 million people this leads to a mean health expenditure on diabetes per person to be around 7000 rupees or 92 US dollars the leading indian states with the highest prevalence of diabetes were found to be tamil nadu followed by kerala punjab goa and karnataka The risk factors for diabetes can be multifactorial including non-modifiable factors like family history, age, genetics, but the prevalence in most populations is mainly caused by modifiable factors like unhealthy diet, abdominal obesity, physical inactivity, sleep durations, environmental pollutants, alcohol consumption and smoking. In a paper published in BMC Public Health Indian diets across states and income groups turned out to be unhealthy. Moreover, Indians consume excess amounts of cereals and not enough proteins, fruits and vegetables. Besides this, physical activity also doesn't seem to be a strong point of Indians. As per this ICMR study, a large percentage of people in India are inactive, with fewer than 10% engaging in recreational physical activity. So it's not surprising that the obesity rates in Indians is also on the rise with 5.3% in 1975 to 20% in 2016 adding to this Indians get around 77 minutes of rapid eye movement or REM sleep every night which is lowest in the world not only that India houses over 130 million smokers which is nearly 12% of all smokers globally These numbers combined provide a pretty good picture why India is the diabetes capital. Although diabetes is in the center of this health crisis, there are certain steps that can be taken to prevent further damage. Starting with public awareness and improved health infrastructure for early diagnosis and timely treatment of the disease. Next are national food policies targeting availability of healthy and nutritious foods. Additionally ensuring strict compliance of food safety standards from the food industry would also be needed. Also required would be health policies to reduce harmful behaviors like smoking and alcohol abuse along with the promotion of physical activeness by creating public areas for exercising, 
walking and cycling. Armed with proper knowledge, we stand a chance to fight the epidemic that is diabetes. And if you like the video, do give us a thumbs up, subscribe and share this video with the people you care about. We'll meet in the next video. Till then, take care and stay healthy.